New tonight, we first told you last night about the impending closing of a Waterville staple. Dale's Diner has been there for 10 years and it will serve its last meals tomorrow. The owner says it can't continue because he can't find workers. Michael Tater spoke to him about this hiring issue that he says is turning into an epidemic. Everybody I've talked to is in the same boat. They can't hire anybody. Okay, this is not a joke anymore. This is this is for real. Bill Anderson, owner of Dale's Diner in Waterville, says he's shutting down the shop because he simply can't find workers. News of the closure spread like wildfire on social media, and people flocked to the diner Friday to show support. But Anderson says he couldn't even talk to them. I was on the grill all day because we don't have any cooks, so I did not get a chance to step off the grill and talk to anybody. Anderson says he believes unemployment and the extra compensation from the latest stimulus is causing some people to choose to stay home and in some cases make more money. What the government is doing is not helping. They are hurting this country. They're hurting our economy. And we're just one little example of that. I would say wages is a major driver right now. Uh, and uh, I'm really trying to avoid saying this, but I think the stimulus has had an impact on uh, job seekers. D.L. Foreman with the Ohio Means Job Center in Lucas County says jobs paying less than $15 an hour, industries like leisure and food, they're struggling to find workers. That could be because of the stimulus, but he says it's also competition from other businesses. Wages are, are a, a major uh, factor, and I can tell you the competition that's come into the community uh, like Amazon is a is that they move the meter when asked about raising wages Anderson says he doesn't have a problem with other businesses just the government I understand that the, that's the market but when the government is involved with it that is that is not the market okay that is not letting the market hand you know handle wages Foreman and Anderson both agree it may just take time to see people return to work but Anderson says he's hopeful for his business. It was a big day for us, and, and I understand it. People are sad, but hey, we're going to be back. Dale's Diner will be back. A promise to his customers who have given him so much. In Waterville, Michael Tater, WTOL 11.